Alhamdulillah. Respected brothers and elders, the point I wear that Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his purpose. That was the ultimate result of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's purpose. Take people to the Jannah. That was not his purpose. His purpose is. والذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله. The Deen, the system, the culture, the way you live, the way you do business, the way you behave with your friends and wife and children, every way of life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to make the deen of Allah victorious. That was the purpose. By making his deen victorious, you will go to the Jannah. So going Jannah is the result. The purpose is making entire world obedient of Allah Rabbul Izzat wal Jalal. Am I clear? And by the Quranic verse, I have said, my respected brothers and sisters, what is the life of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam on us? Number one, right? We believe Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Ya ayyuha al-ladina amanu al adullukum ala tijaratin tunjikum min azabin alim tu'minun billahi wa rasulihi. This is number one right, is believing Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whatever he brought, whatever that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has delivered to him. Number two, the right of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is do the ata'ad. Is to follow him. Follow not within certain types, you know. We don't want to be like 20 percent Muslim. In the Yawm Al-Qiyamah, 20 percent Muslim, will it work? Allah knows the best. But you can depend on it. We must be Muslim 100 percent. We try to be 100 percent. Maybe we will not be able to do so. But how much do we try? And number three is the love and the respect to Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How do you love Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Loving when you love your wife or husband or your children that demands certain type of quality. That demands certain type of time. We love Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam within the sweet sunnah but we try to avoid the hard sunnah. My dear respected brothers and sisters we have failing in that also. The, the last part of that I have told is the gift of Kalima Tayyiba La Ilaha. Can we know? Do we know the Kalima? Kalima Tayyiba La Ilaha Illa Allahu Muhammad Rasulullah. The right of this Kalima is break or broken by us in every steps. We are taking sometimes Ilah our own culture. We are taking sometimes ilah our own business. We are taking ilah some other sources, authorities, governments, everything. We take ilah. We must take it. La ilaha. There is no ilah. Allah, subh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with negation. La. Every ilah is gone. Every authority is gone. So my dear respected brothers and elders. That's why we are, we have all these blessings, but we are failing in our life. We are under the sufferings, we are under the distractions, everyone is, you know, a Bangladeshi Everyone is putting salt on our head and eating lots. Because of that. That's the only reason. Now we are pointing him, her, them, they are the one who is responsible for our sufferings, they, he is the responsible for our sufferings. But we never look at ourselves. To my call today, including myself. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala five times salah. We must we must obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala daily five times salah, inshallah. Everybody agree? Inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to accept halal as a halal. We accept halal, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is given order to wear the hijab for not only men, not only for women, but also men also must practice the, you know, the hijab. They should, they should lower their eyes. We will try to practice, inshallah. Allah Rabbul Izzat wal Jalal ordered us to unite Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqullaha akka tukati wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimi Unite But we are making the firqa This guy is Salafi, this guy is Tablighi, this guy is Jamaati, this guy is that, this guy is that When we are splitting all over the world But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered us to one United, we are Muslim Are we want to be united inshallah? My dear respected brothers and elders my call to you today, let's, let's have some concern for ourselves. Let's have some concern. Let's have some minute, sit down and think that how much that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is given the order and how much I am following every single day. If I do that, I will correct myself and as myself, I will correct the society, I will correct the Muslim Ummah and maybe, inshallah, we are hoping the Ummah will be the best again. I hope that is and that's the, my prayers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah Rabbul Izzat wal Jalal give us the respect we deserve according to the rights. Amin ya Rabbul Alameen. Akulu ka li haza. Astaghfirullah di wa lakum adhi al-sayyid al-Muslimin. Astaghfiru innahu wal-gafurur rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.